everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I'm able to refill my espresso pods for the Starbucks Freesmo machine. So as some of you know, it's run using the K-Fee system right there, which means that the pods are relatively interchangeable with the CBTL, or the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf Cafidly system. So this is the Starbucks pod right here, and this is the CBTL pod. And as you can see, they're exactly the same size. The CBTL one fits through the Vrismo perfectly. Um, everything's the same except that this one has two plastic filters in it, one at the top and one at the bottom. And that makes refilling so much easier because that means the grounds don't go through the machine and into your cup. Also, I purchased these ones from Creative Coffee. I'll link them below and they were only $6.50 for a box of 10. So the Verismo pods are 12 bucks for a box of 12, which means that they're a dollar each and they're 35 cents more expensive per pod. And that really makes a difference if you're having them every day. Plus, since these CBTL pods are refillable, I've used them maybe about five or 10 times each and they're still perfectly fine. Um, they haven't melted or collapsed or gotten crushed or anything. And that really brings the cost of each espresso shot down to only a couple cents per, per shot. So let me show you how I'm able to do this. So what you'll need to refill the pods is some ground espresso, some used CBTL espresso capsules with the seals removed and the capsules and filters washed and dried, an unused capsule because it's the perfect size to tamp the espresso beans down, aluminum foil, scissors, and a spoon. I use the really small kind because I find that less espresso spills over the edges, but you can definitely use a teaspoon as well. When you take them out of the collection tray, you'll see that there are three holes along the top and one at the bottom. Slip your knife horizontally into one of these top holes and slice through the seal till you have a part large enough to grab with your fingers. Start peeling towards the edge and go in a circular motion, making sure to get all the bits stuck to the rim of the capsule. Everything should come off in one clean piece. So once you've gotten your pod all cleaned and the filters all dried, you take your pod and a tiny piece of foil here, which I usually fold a couple times just so it fits into the bottom of the pod here. That will block the hole that was created when the pod was first used. So once there, you put the bottom filter on and push it down. And then you start loading the espresso in. I actually tamp it down a couple times with another pod just because it's the perfect size right there and that way I can add a little bit more. Once that's done, I take the last filter and put it on the top. And then that will pop right in there. So now I take my other piece of foil and I put it over this pod. I usually flip it over and press it all around once. And then once that's done, I go all around the edges and I make sure that everything is sealed in nicely. Another thing that I sometimes do is take an, another pod right here, go like that, and that way you know that everything's sealed along the edge right there. And there's your pod ready to be used. Okay, so here we have the Starbucks machine. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the cup under here, and then I'm gonna take the newly made pod and I'm gonna put it along the top. So stick it in there, make sure it goes all the way to the right place, and pull the lid down. I've already run the cleaning cycle, so now I can just press the espresso shot button. So here's a close-up of the shot 
and as you can see it came out perfectly. There's even a thick layer of creme at the top. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye!